So hello and uh, thanks for being here. You are at our Renaissance booth. You are now together with me. My name is Frank Orbe. I am leading the SST team. This is our system and solution team in EMEA. I am together with my colleague Brad Rex. Brad is leading the SST team in America. And Brad, he will show us a huge new demonstration, a huge new tool we call QuickConnect Studio and QuickConnect IoT. And uh, this is unique in the industry. And please be excited, please see what we are doing. And Brad, if you can give us some highlight information on QuickConnect Studio, would be really appreciated. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. So, QuickConnect Studio and QuickConnect IoT are kind of the hardware and software brothers of each other. So, QuickConnect IoT allows us to take our modules, plug them together um, in different uh, formats and variations. Uh, that way, you can make your application exactly what you want. And now what we're doing is we're making a software version to allow us to actually auto-create the software, and that's Quick Connect Studio, which we're showing. So we'll basically have a drag and drop type of solution where we can take our MCU board, we can take a connectivity board, and we can take right, all from scratch. We're doing it graphically. So in this case, we would have an MCU that's reading in temperature and humidity data and sending it out via uh, leak. We would then... Um, We'll uh, compile this. Brad, just to interrupt you, uh, is this now local on this machine yep. or where is it? Yeah, so this is all done uh, cloud-based, so it's on a cloud instance. Uh, so it's all done online in a browser. Uh, so we can, when we're compiling here, we're going to use the cloud's compute power so it's much faster. You don't have to have a very powerful laptop to do the compilation. It took two seconds to do the full compile. Um, and then we're going to get uh, the project file. And so now we are done. We're all done. So what you see here is we get all the source code for the actual project. Uh, and then when we compile, we get um, uh, the debug file. So what we'll do is we'll download the debug file uh, so that we can actually do the programming. So that's there. And what we'll do is we'll switch over to our other tool. Uh, this will allow us, we'll erase it. Um, we will select the file we just, and we're going to program it. So we'll do the programming. So the device is programmed, and since this is BLE, we have a BLE app. So what we're going to see is, uh, if I get a smartphone app here, select our device, and you'll see all the temperature and humidity data coming out. Um, if we had a different sensor, like a flow sensor, you would see flow data. Uh, so the app and the data that's being sent out from Quick Connect Studio is automatically configured based on the uh, actual devices that you're using. So what do we need? Do we really need a high sophisticated high-end machine to run or locally or what is requested from our customers? Yeah, so you don't need much other than the hardware um, and a browser. That's pretty much all you need and a way to flash the device uh, locally uh, to, to make Quick Connect Studio work. So really um, a low barrier to entry. You're not downloading any um, uh, tools, uh, just a real simple browser and some hardware. You can do it with a Chromebook. You could. Uh, and, you could. And also, you need something else, maybe. But. You can actually, I did it before, you can actually load it on your smartphone and do all the configuration here. Obviously, you need a way to download the file um, onto a PC, but you could use a smartphone with a browser to do all the, uh, the actual development of the solution. And, and that's Brad, a can you talk a little bit, uh, I see here two Renaissance controllers. What is the next step? Yeah. So right now, good point, Frank. Um, we support um, two different MCUs. Uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and a couple different sensors. Um, our plan um, uh, over the next few months and then for 2023, we're going to get all of our MCUs supported in here, all of our sensors. Um, we're also looking at partners, so other technology that Renaissance does not have, like uh, gyro, uh, accelerometers, things like that, we're going to get an ability to have our partners actually add in support here as well. So a lot of uh, fun and exciting things coming in 2023. This, this is a brand new way of doing things? It's, uh, yeah, so in, first way in the industry to actually do it from this level. Um, you know, there are many uh, online IDs that already exist today, but that's really source code level. You have to do the programming and, and debug and development. This allows you to start one level above that at a solution level, then take that solution, make the code, and then from there you can then go on and do the next part of your actual uh, development process. WYSIWYG, something, what do you call it, uh, drag and drop? Yeah, you WYSIWYG, don't need to... yeah, what you see is what you get. Yeah, same style. So basically, if we look at it, it's exactly mirrored to what we have, so uh, that's the whole point. And then they give, it comes with the example? 
codes and you can modify and yep. improve? Yep, so the example code um, will intelligently look at which devices you have and auto-create that example. Um, so for instance, if it's BLE, it expects that you would send it out to a BLE app, like on a mobile phone. Uh, if it's Wi-Fi, then you would send it out um, uh, to a, a web browser, like an address page, so that you can take a look at it. So it intelligently knows which devices you have and it will automatically reconfigure. Uh, the question customers are very often having, uh, what about a price? Do we charge anything to customers? What is our business model uh, to work with customers? So right now we're in a beta stage for the tool and development. So right now the tool is free of charge to use. It's uh, renaissance.com slash QC Studio. Uh, users just need to sign up for uh, a Renaissance, uh, for a My Renaissance account, uh, and from there they're able to then uh, use the tool uh, free of charge. You know, please submit feedback. Let us know how you're using it. Uh, we want to get the features that you know users are, are most implementing um, added. Uh, so right now it's completely free to use. Um, Really, and then um, hardware for hardware availability. Uh, Renaissance provides samples, or you can get them through um, uh, distribution. Uh, DigiKey, Mauser, and Abnet Future, all of our major distributors. Affordable, most of the boards, less than $100. Um, the little PMOD boards are probably $10 to $25 range. All right. And, uh, last question We are now here at day two of Embedded World. Uh, you have met a lot of customers. Can you share high level what is the feedback of customers? What is your impression of being here in Germany? Yeah, everybody's very excited. Um, first thing people ask is like, oh, it looks, it's very modern, it looks like Visual Studio Code. Uh, people are used to that, they like the, the new look and feel. Um, it's very dark, it's very black, it's you know, very you know, coder-like, we can change the colors. It's, you know, so people are very excited uh, for this. It's an option, right? People want options in how they do development. Um, so this gives them more flexibility um, of what they can do. Is there a potential way to collaborate? Like a team could be working together on stuff in there? It's possible. Uh, the tool doesn't support it today, but definitely the framework here is very flexible to allow that. We can add extensions, uh, uh, things like uh, GitHub integration. So if you have a, a collaborative um, a source control management, we can do that. Um, I joke with people, you can get ChatGPT in here as well, probably at some point. And you can just tell ChatGPT to write, make it work. Yeah, exactly. Fix my bugs. So, uh, but again, these are all plugins that are all, and it's fully adaptable. So, uh, a lot of, you know, I think we're really excited at Renaissance that we're able to produce this tool for people. And I think in 2023, right, we're going to have a lot of uh, fast updates coming that are going to make this tool really awesome. So, so, thank you very much, Brett. I think really great what we are doing here. Uh, it is a next step, uh, the next step of evolution, uh, the next step in our development with our customers. I hope you will be here in one year again. We will see much more PMODs, we will see uh, much more kits, Airball kits, uh, boards, uh, starter kits from our side, and you will see also some of our partners having here modules. So please come again next year, stay interested, being interested in our solutions and come again to Renaissance and visit us on our website www.renaissance.com and you will figure out Viconnect Studio. So thank you very much for being here.